Okay, dear friends, uh, let us move on to the next examples regarding the cationic complex. In the last video, I think all of you know how to remember the nature of the cationic complex. In cationic complex, we start with the name ligand, central metal, oxidation state, and anionic sphere. This is the major part to follow the written the nomenclature of your cationics. So before to start, these are the examples of cationics. How can you find out cationic? Square brackets are always first to the ionic spheres. So first one, SO4 is minus 2, ammonia is a neutral ligand, bromido is a minus 1 charge, minus total minus negatives are 3, automatically cobalt is 3. Just to close ionic sphere, the net charge is plus 2. Similarly, Cl is minus 1, carbonate CO3 minus 2, ammonia is 0, Nodi, minus 3 another cobalt plus 3 after that. Close here, the net charge is plus 2. Cation complex. NO3, nitrate is minus 1, ammonia this is a 0, automatically silver is plus 1, the net charge is plus 2. All are cation complex. Yes, obviously we can follow the concept of this. This is heteroleptic. Heteroleptic means based on alphabet first. So alphabet I will be there. Pentaamine. Pentaamine. Br is a bromido. Brimide. Bromido. Central metal is cobalt. Oxidation state is number three. Common number three. The last term is sulfur. Zipper. Very good. Pentamine, bromido, cobalt 3, sulfate is the nomenclature. So, you will sir. Cl is minus 1, find out that cobalt is plus 3. So, you will use the same. The availability is heteroleptic. Amine is first. Same. Pentamine, this is carbonate, carbonato, carbonato ligand. Central metal is cobalt. Oxidation state 3 is the residual 3. The term is chloride. The term is Now come to the next one. So, question. Sir, nitrate is minus 1, ammonia 0, silver. This is amine. The component is only 2, diamine. Diamine. Ag means silver. This is called silver. Diamine silver oxidation state is 1. This is your nitrate. This is nitrate. The name of the compound diamine silver 1 nitrate. So, here practice smarta hovri. This is one the concept of the ligand, central metal oxidation state, and ionic sphere. Before the ligand, yes, the number of ligands. The number of ligands are going to mention the Nomenclature is here. This is the rule for cationic. Yes, after this uh, cationics, and uh, let us move on to the next category is an anionic complex. How to nomenclature anionic complex of our cells? Very simply, anionic complex. In a very delicate anion complex, and you know. Before square bracket to ionic sphere band. Before square bracket to ionic sphere band. Anionic complex. Yes, this is an example. K3, Fe, Cl, Square bracket in the Munchu Bandi. Sir, you will the complex. Find out. Is it anionic or not? Sir, more than plus 3. Cyanide is a minus 6. Minus 6 or you are automatically 0 after plus 3. Close here. The net charge of the complex is obviously it is anionic. Okay, now yes, how to mention? Very simple, sir. Here cationic sphere mother and then ligand central metal, especially central metal is end up with ATE. And 
lastly oxidation temple 3 anionic complex kodu bandaga cationic sphere first ligand central metal is end up with at and final with oxidation state this cationic sphere k k stands for cationic sphere k stands for potassium potassium sir ligand r ide r ke nu hexa cnl cyanido list put it in na this potassium hexa cyanido central metal fe is end up with at ferrate ferrate oxidation state is to the more than this is another three yes the component oxidation potassium hexa cyanido ferrate three is the nomenclature of this complex okay martira simple other very simple i have changed just one cn okay anybody plus four potassium is plus one each total four plus four cyanide each minus one minus six zero total obviously it is a plus two total zero it close my part the net charge is minus four anionic complex you know start up with anionic complex of it potassium so r are there hexa cyanido potassium hexa cyanido end up with at ala at r r ferrate sir oxidation state is this is the nomenclature of the complex the real complex is zero potassium hexa cyanido ferrate 3 the complex is zero potassium hexa cyanido ferrate 2 yes you this is a very simplest complex is mentioned in our syllabus if you want to know yes you know in the example to one thing i carefully you have to mention yes na2 sn cl6 is a wonderful complex primary sodium already there plus 2 cl6 is a minus 6 sn obviously is plus 4 the close material three in a minus 2 anionic complex potassium jagat and sodium so start with sodium hexa r chlorido chlorido ch no r i hexa chlorido sn that is called stannous stannate are good s t e n n a t stannate e t oxidation state is 4 this is a stannate 4 is an nature sodium hexa chlorido stannate 4 is the complex Okay, what is the example? Yes, we keep practicing very interesting examples are mentioned in our syllabus. Is a K2 Cl Cl six times. Sir, we have potassium. We already there. Plus two. Cyanide is a minus four. This is plus two. Net charge is like that. Plus and minus anion complex. Yes, in potassium. Now that you know, tetra cyanido. This is a cuprate. Copper is converted into cuprate. So you P R A D cuprate oxidation state. Potassium hexa cyanido cuprate. Yes, example of your yeah, wonderful example. Yes, this is Ne3 Fe OX. Yes. OX stands for oxalato. Oxalato is a bidentate ligand. Keep yourself, this is a plus 3. Oxalate is a bidentate charge is C2O4 minus 2 into thrice. This is a thrice. Okay, minus 6, automatic iron is plus 3, that charge is minus 3. It's a very important term. Okay, our history of the run. Sodium 3 is a trioxalato. Trioxalato ligand. This is a ferrate. Oxidation 
16. This is my page of comics. Keep practicing, dear friends. This is very interesting. And if you have an ionic complex and the square bracket, Amar Bandre, start with ionic sphere, ligand, central metal, and oxidation state. These are examples. All the study exam, book only, notes only, and see articles book only. Keep practicing. It's a very important part of our syllabus. Yes, so we practice more. Because you know, example, I know, the one thing, we have a different ligand. I can mention here Na, Al, Ox, Oh four, hydroxyl. Okay, so sodium fast again. We have plus one. Minus 4, automatically plus 3, and it charges because of minus 2. And you complex. Do it fast. Sodium. Now the ligand is going to be tetra. Hydroxido. Sodium tetra hydroxido. Aluminate. AT. Yes, this is the Yes, very simply you can mention sodium tetrahydroxido aluminate 3 is the nomenclature of complex. These are the best example for anionic complex as mentioned our NCRT. Yes, keep practicing with different, different examples and uh, let us move on to the next bit. The last one is a neutral complex. Neutral complex. So, what are the neutral complex? They are electrically does not have any charge. Yes, they are not charged. Electrical charge is not the complex. But it is neutral. Yes, if you have an example of NICO. Yes, how can I find carbonyl is a new 0, 0, this is a 0. So, how to mention generally, friends? Very simple. Ligand, central metal. Oxidation is taken here. Bada is here. What are the ligands? Yes, this is a tetra. CO means carbonyl. Tetra carbonyl. Ni means nickel. Oxidation state is becomes to zero at the Roma. Yes, it's for button of the experiments. If you use another one, is Fe CO5 minus. Do it fast, simply 0, 0, 0. Okay. I did it. Penta carbonyl. This is Fe stands for iron. Penta carbonyl iron. This are the example of neutral. The neutral ligand is the nomenclature must be ligand, central metal, oxidation state. Began central metal oxidation state. This is very simple story mentioned in our NCRT cationic ligand, anionic ligand, and neutral ligands. And we keep practicing with different example. We want the next bit of our syllabus is complex ions. How to mention the complex ion and how to find out the oxidation state of central metal in the complex ions. Thank you.